cold weather, tough conditions, and a whole lot of drama. What happens when a Pittsburgh Steeler dares to complain about the freezing cold? Well, if you're George Pickens, you get absolutely roasted by none other than Stephen A. Smith. And trust me, this take is blazing hot. In a city built on grit, toughness, and steel, does a little cold weather really deserve a complaint? Stephen A. doesn't think so. But was he right to call out Pickens so harshly? Stay tuned, because we're diving deep into this firestorm, and trust me, you don't want to miss a second of it. In today's video, we're breaking down one of the most controversial takes in recent sports commentary. Stephen A. Smith, yes, you know him, the man with the fiery takes and zero tolerance for nonsense, went off on Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver, George Pickens. Why? Because Pickens did something you never, ever expect from a player wearing the black and gold, he complained about the cold weather. Yes, you heard that right, and Stephen A. has some strong words about it. But was Stephen A. right to go on the offensive like that? And more importantly, does Pickens deserve this level of backlash? We'll dive into all of that, plus a whole lot more. So grab your popcorn, folks this is one wild ride you don't want to miss. Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Name, and today, we've got an absolute firestorm of a topic Stephen A. Smith's savage take on George Pickens. Now, Pickens is a phenomenal young talent for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's got the skills, the speed, the hands we all know that. But when he made comments about how brutal Pittsburgh's cold weather is, well, Stephen A. didn't hold back in calling him out. Now, before we get into all the details, you know what to do. Like this video if you want more NFL breakdowns, hot takes, and everything in between. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. But enough about that let's talk about the situation at hand. What exactly went down between Stephen A. Smith and George Pickens? George Pickens has been a bright spot for the Pittsburgh Steelers ever since they drafted him in the second round of the 2022 NFL Draft. The young wideout has made an immediate impact with his elite catching ability, superb body control, and potential to be a star receiver. The kid can flat out ball, but what makes Pickens particularly interesting and, at times, controversial is his attitude. He's got that edge, that competitive spirit that some fans love, and others, well, not so much. Smiling awkwardly yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. The cold weather here in Pittsburgh is something else. It's brutal, honestly. I mean, I've played in colder places, but this is different. Sometimes, it just makes everything harder. You've got to really focus, especially when the ball gets slippery and everything feels frozen. It's just tough. Alright, so we've got George Pickens here, just speaking his truth, right? He's being real about the conditions he's facing in Pittsburgh. And look, I get it. Playing football in freezing temperatures isn't exactly a walk in the park. I mean, he's trying to catch passes in the middle of a snowstorm, it's not easy. But here's where the controversy comes in. Fired up I have never heard a Pittsburgh Steeler complain about the cold weather in my life. Never. You hear that, George Pickens? A Pittsburgh Steeler doesn't complain about the weather. They embrace it. This is Pittsburgh, man. It's blue collar, it's tough, it's gritty. You don't whine about the weather. You deal with it, you play through it, that's what Steelers football is all about. And there it is, Stephen A. Smith, going off as only he can. He makes an excellent point, though. The Pittsburgh Steelers are known for their toughness. This is a franchise built on hard work, grit, and a relentless mindset one where no excuse, not even the weather, should hold you back. This isn't the first time Stephen A. has gone hard on a player for what he perceives as a lack of toughness. But is he really justified in ripping Pickens apart for simply stating how difficult the weather is? When you think about the Steelers, you think about legends who thrived under tough conditions. Guys like Mean Joe Green, Terry Bradshaw, Franco Harris players who played through snow, ice, rain, and temperatures that would freeze the average person solid. These were men who epitomized what it means to play through adversity. And to a lot of Steelers fans and analysts, complaining about the weather is seen as a betrayal of that legacy. You see, Pittsburgh's identity is built on the idea that nothing no matter how harsh can break your will. Now, I'm not saying Pickens should have never mentioned the weather. But there's an unspoken code in Pittsburgh. It's all about the Steeler mentality, that no matter what's thrown at you, you deal with it and keep moving forward. 
And for some, that includes not complaining about the weather. Stephen A clearly believes that Pickens, as a young player, should have known better than to air his grievances about it publicly. Pittsburgh winters are legendary, to say the least. The city is known for its bitter cold, howling winds, and sometimes relentless snow. Heinz Field, where the Steelers play, is often the site of some of the most brutal weather games in the NFL. Fans and players alike are used to it, and it's part of what makes Steelers football so unique. They say Steelers Nation doesn't just support the team, they live for that gritty, blue-collared toughness that permeates the team and the city. You can see it right here Pittsburgh fans don't care if it's 10 degrees and snowing sideways. They're out there, supporting their team no matter what. So when a player like George Pickens, a relatively new face on the team, complains about the cold, it rubs some people the wrong way. And Stephen A. Smith, being the outspoken personality that he is, was quick to call it out. So, is Stephen A. right? Is Pickens showing weakness by mentioning the cold? Or is he just being a regular guy, talking about the realities of playing in such tough conditions? Well, let's look at this from another angle. George Pickens is a competitor. No one can deny that. The kid is an absolute talent on the field. We've all seen him make insane catches, take over games, and do things that make you say, wow, this kid's got it. But let's also be real for a second. He's still young. And maybe, just maybe, he's still learning how to navigate the pressures of playing in the NFL not just on the field, but off the field as well. And when you're playing in a city like Pittsburgh, with that harsh weather and an even harsher fanbase, you can't afford to show any weakness. Calmly, but assertively listen, we don't make excuses. We play the hand we're dealt, and that's it. Whether it's cold, hot, raining, or snowing we play football. That's what we do. And that, my friends, is why Mike Tomlin is one of the best coaches in the NFL. He knows how to instill that an man up mentality into his players. It doesn't matter what the conditions are. You've got a job to do, and you do it. And for Pickens, he's got to understand that. Complaining about the cold, even in passing, might come off as a lack of focus or worse, a lack of the toughness Pittsburgh expects from its players. And, of course, fans had their opinions. Some were totally on Stephen A.S. side, saying there's no place for complaining in Pittsburgh. Others, though, understood where Pickens was coming from, arguing that he was just expressing how tough the conditions are, and there's no shame in being real about it. At the end of the day, I think we can all agree on one thing, both sides have a point. George Pickens, as a young player, is still figuring things out. And while we get that playing in the cold isn't easy, especially when you're not used to it, he might want to remember the history and the culture of the Steelers before making those comments. Stephen A. Smith, on the other hand, is just doing what he does best calling it like he sees it. And he's got a point, too Pittsburgh is a city built on toughness, and complaining just doesn't fit the bill. So, where do you stand on this debate? Was Stephen A. too hard on George Pickens, or was he just holding him accountable to the tough standard of Steelers football? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We're all about the discussion here, so don't be shy let's get the conversation going. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button, and make sure to subscribe for more NFL news, analysis, and hot takes. Until next time, keep it locked here, and we'll catch you in the next one.